solve a disturbance in one of the waiting areas in the hospital. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, I'm Officer Kittley. Can I talk to you real quick? I drove two hours to come down here. She wanted to give me any doctor. No, I want my doctor. I got my own primary care doctor. No, no, no. I don't want to that. Talk to me. Tell her this, man. Okay. No, no. Two hours I drove up here for this. I want to see my doctor, you know. Okay. I understand. Don't reach for your waistband. Don't reach. Put down the knife. Put down the knife. We always want to find ways to offer more training, uh, but we have to balance that with the need to be out on patrol. We looked at getting a shooting simulation system for our officers uh, and decided we needed one actually in our building. We currently could go up to Southwestern Illinois College and use uh, one that's for the whole area, but that takes two officers away from the city. So we decided to invest in getting uh, these for our own officers. It's really important that we train our officers in these simulation systems and in these situations because when an officer is faced with a life or death situation, the decisions he have to has to make are split-second decisions. And when you make split-second decisions, you really have to fall back on your training and experience will dictate to your body how you handle it. By having this system here, it gives our officers an opportunity uh, to, to hone those skills even better so that they can be more comfortable in situations and know when they can de-escalate situations and when unfortunately there's no opportunity to uh, de-escalate based upon the resistance of the individuals they're dealing with. And when they could actually take other actions to move to protect themselves. Uh, uh, so the more we train, the better our officers are. Uh, but again, by having this here, it keeps us from having to pull them out of the city and still gives them the chance to do that valuable training. So just like a normal everyday traffic stop, we would expect our officers to walk up, identify themselves, and, and start interacting with the, the person they'd stop. What did I do? The second benefit that we have from this that we've noticed that in our community-based programs that we interact with our citizens, including our Citizens Police Academy, we get very positive results and evaluations from those that go through this shooting simulation training uh, because it helps them understand. Officer, what do we do? We found this gun in the bush, officer. What do we do? What do we do? The high stress, split second decision making that police officers have to go through every day. So it's basically just a test if they test if you shoot or not, which you could have been justified in shooting if because he, he was waved the gun at you. Now, what he said and how he was reacting would, would lead you to believe that I mean, he's telling the truth. They just found this gun and, and all that, so you probably wouldn't want to take his life, although he could have shot you at any time if you wanted to.